Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, hello my name is Georgie. I am 26 years old and I live in the north of England. So there's been a little bit of radio silence over Christmas and then I was planning on starting back a couple of weeks ago but we came down with food poisoning which was a lot of fun. Um, so fortunately it was only me and my fiance. Our little girl didn't come down with anything, thank goodness, because that would have been a lot more problematic than it was for just the two of us. Um, so yeah, so I will do a more creative video for next week, but this week I just wanted to talk a little bit about food poisoning, what happened to us, because weirdly we got the same food poisoning but it affected us differently. So we we know what the source was so we didn't have to have um, like public health or anything get involved. We know that it was completely our own fault. Um, we have a new oven that's been with us a couple of months if that and we've been having issues with our timings with like chunky pieces of meat in particular. Um, and we had done ourselves a like, homemade Nando's, we've got the sauce and that the, with a rub put it on some chicken breasts, stuck it in the oven and got it out, cut a small one up, open to see if it cooked through, that had cooked through fine, but the chunky pieces we didn't realise hadn't, we just sort of presumed because we'd left it in for the right amount of time, that sort of thing, that it would have been fine. Um, so yeah, I realised, because I tend to look at my chicken as I'm eating it, um, I realised that my chicken was a little bit pink. Kieran, my fiance, didn't look at his. He just ate it. Um, so I presume that he his was pink. I didn't eat all of mine. Like once I realised it was pink, I was really carefully cutting around and eating the bits that were cooked properly. Um, and I left a good chunk. Whereas he ate the full thing, and he eats twice as much as me. Anyway, um, so a couple of days later, he starts with diarrhea, bless him, and he had a horrific bless him. He was awful. He said with diarrhea, he had a temperature, he had hot and cold shivers. Like he was about 32, I think it was the first night, with his temperature and he was feeling heavy in his chest he felt really really unwell and of course with you know the rona going around uh we well we thought instantly oh goodness he's got it that means i probably will have got it as well because we you know we share the same bed we live in a fairly small house there's no way that we wouldn't have shared it really um so I booked him in for the next morning to go and get a test. I booked him in like overnight. We woke up at like 2 in the morning and he wasn't very well. I booked him in there and then got him tested. Thankfully his test came back negative. Um, but he still took himself um, sign, he, what was it called? Self-signed himself off sick for a week. Um, because he didn't want to spread it on work if it was like something that could be spread um, because we weren't 100% sure. We weren't 100% sure if it definitely wasn't COVID because we know a few people that have tested negative one or two times before they've got a positive result. Um, so we thought, right, it's best just to see what I do, what our doctor Louise does, um, how he shows his symptoms as it gets a little bit further through the days say he's had a diarrhea and he was going so many times about 24 48 hours after he started with symptoms i started with a high temperature heavy chest and full body pain to the point where i was in tears i was taking really strong medication and for those of you who have seen previous videos, you'll know that I have hypermobility and Lassonla syndrome, so I have chronic pain anyway. So my normal pain level is like, let's say a three or a four. 
and I don't take any medication for that I just look for that um, I do have sh like showers and baths and I've got a heat mat upstairs that I use to cope with the pain so I don't have to take tablets but this was like a 9 over 10 like I was needing to take strong medication um, my temperatures kept spiking we could barely move between the two of us we did our best to look after our little girl because we thought well what if I've got Covid and Kieran's tested negative but there's a false negative and I've now caught it we can't go out we can't give Eloise to anybody to look after for a couple of days just while we recovered you know we just had to deal with what the situation that we had so a few days later I was up and down with how I was feeling and had a couple of really bad days decided to get tested as well so by this point Kieran had been pearly for about a week so we decided to both of us would get tested so he would get tested again I would get tested if we both came back negative we were going to presume that we were negative so we both we sent, had ended up having to send away for a home test because of course we wouldn't be able to give Eloise to anybody to look after and our nearest three test sites were all fully booked for the next day so we would have to have driven about an hour away and then sat and waited for however long and then driven an hour back without being allowed to get out of the car without being allowed to go to like mcdonald's or you know drive through anything like that with a one-year-old in the back of the car and it's just it's not something that we can do she's really really good she is such a good girl but for sitting in a car for that amount of time it's just not a practical thing to do with a one-year-old so we booked home testing kits which i suppose is part of the reason why home testing kits are available so we booked the home testing kits they arrived the next day um got those done sent off straight away and we both came back negative thank goodness a couple of days later neither of us were feeling any better kieran was getting worse he's bless him he had lost a bit of weight quite a bit of weight um and we said look he wasn't getting any better he was spiking higher temperatures by this point we were doing everything that we could you know eating little and often if i could get any food down him at all um drinking i was eating regularly but really small amounts so i've kept my weight on <laughs> um but he hasn't bless him um so because he was now spiking higher temperatures over 39 degrees we decided for him to ring urgent care and they got him to go in had his bloods done got him to do a stool sample and it came back with they suggested it would be the salmonella poisoning or some other sort of bacterial poisoning or it would be um gastroenteritis a couple of days later oh, a couple of days later he started on antibiotics which he started on a couple of days later um by day four i think it was of his antibiotics he started feeling a bit better which was really good because then i started going a lot worse with my pain i spoke to the doctors as well and they gave me a sample to do but they said because i didn't have as like diarrhea to the point that he had i couldn't have any antibiotics or anything just I had to just ride it out basically um so Kieran took the second week off work as well because he just couldn't he wouldn't have physically been able to be in work because he has to he's a key worker he has to go to his place of work um and he can't leave his job partly through the day or anything like that he has to when he's in the room that he has to be in he has to be there all day um and he works with quite vulnerable people so he has to make sure that he's well enough to be able to deal with whatever situations come out he comes across at that point so he has to take two weeks off work anyway um so i did my soul sample his came back with i'm pretty sure it's salmonella poisoning it was a fancy latin word it, kieran can't remember exactly what it was but we are pretty sure of it salmonella poisoning from the chicken <laughs> so that's yeah a long story we felt rubbish he has now since gone back to work he went back to work yesterday um 
I've I'm getting better with my pain. We're pretty much back to normal. Um, eating and stuff. Just trying to do the best that we can to for him to put on a bit of weight and for me to just you know carry on and be a little often through the day and then having a proper tea time tea at tea time so that I sleep properly because I've not been sleeping very well either um but yeah so it's been a bit of a roller coaster for us over the last couple of weeks um yeah any other life updates we're starting our with her weaning so I will do a proper weaning video um Eloise, as I said, is our one year old. She has weaned from milk to solids, so she has like a three meal a day plus snacks and all that sort of thing. But we also want to wean her. She has got a cow's milk protein allergy and a soya allergy, so we need to wean her from not having any cow's milk, having cow's milk, and then we're going to wean her from not having soya to soya. See if she manages to wean. Um, we're hoping that she'll either get through one or the other at least just to make life a little bit nicer for her because at the moment she can't have like traditional cake she can't have ice cream she can't have quite a lot of things that especially like party food and things she can't have um so we are hoping that she'll be able to wean all right but you know if she doesn't she doesn't we will deal with that as it comes um and the house said that if she doesn't wean this time, then we might be able to wean her when she's a little bit older. Because um, some kids wean perfectly fine when they're one. Some need to wait till they're about three or four. Um, sometimes five. So we will just, yeah, see how things get on. Um, I've got the phone call with the dietitian next week. Um, so we'll be able to start doing things properly then. Um, yeah, so I will follow that up with a video and updates see how she's getting on um but yes so yes thank goodness we don't have covid it was only food poisoning it did wipe us for a couple of weeks but i just thought i would do this video because of how different our symptoms were um like kieran didn't have the full body pains i did i didn't really have diarrhea i had a, a touch of it nothing major um but he had it severely and yeah it was just food poisoning it's the same thing for both of us you expected it to be COVID because of how different our symptoms were. Um, but yeah, thankfully it wasn't. So we've managed to avoid it in 2020. Here's to avoiding it in 2021. <laughs> okay, so I hope everybody is staying safe and lots of love and I will see you in the next one. Bye.